for those recording. Let's go again. Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to the <laughs> weekly outlook. Let's start. We're going to go pretty fast. Dollar index. Dollar index consolidating. Going down. Watch this trend line. If they break it, we'll be looking for buys. If they don't break that, you can take short-term sells. Those will be short-term sells. Same on the euro. If they break this long-term sell, we are in the sell already in our trading group. We'll watch it. We'll monitor it. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go good, it's going to be a break-even trade for us, right? If they start to consolidate there, we'll probably get, get out of the trade and look for a sell under. If they go back up, any trade to the upside is short-term. Take profit. Pong, definitely you want to look for a sell setup. The Pong is going up. We got an ABC structure. We got a three-wave structure in, in, in the making here. We got one. We got a contracting flat, what we call a contracting flat, and we're going, any trade here will be very, very short term. That means you want to look for a sell setup. Let them come back to this trend line first. Maybe one more up, maybe break out, but that's a sell to that trend line. Four hour, we're looking for a sell opportunity to this trend line. It means if you get a one hour trade to the upside, if you get a short term trade here to the upside, this will be a short term trade, take profit. Move stops, take profit. Because any at any point, this thing will start to come down, right? Aussie, we're expecting some more downside. Not exactly now. Don't sell it. This likely going to give you some more up before they come down, right? You see they're making some kind of a flat formation there. That will go up. This is a flat pattern, and you're expecting this to go up some more before they come. Now, in rare, in rare situations, you see them actually do this break here and go. So if they're going to break to go, I would want to see, this will be short-term trade. I would want to see a little flag here before I do that. So I, I don't have a, a sell there. I'm looking for some more up and I'm not buying it either. I'm looking for a sell when it goes up some more. Right? That's a different thing. So if it doesn't go, then I'll look for the sell situation. We're in a single trade. We closed the, the other trades we had. We took trades from the top there. We closed it and we are still in the trade from the top here. All the way from the top here, a lot of my traders are still in that trade. We're keeping that trade until we get to this level, right? I think all of you remember it, nothing new, right? See, it's coming here. Eventually, it will get there, right? So let's see. We're expecting some more pullback and then down again. New Zealand, New Zealand making a pullback here, but I don't think this is the change of direction as yet. I think this is likely going to make one more drop. So you can look for one more trade down to there and then we'll see if this starts to go up. On the bigger picture, it looks like a big consolidation right now. You can see that it looks like a wave down, a pullback, another wave down here. I think this could go some more and then we could start to see if they're gonna come back to this level, right? If they do, there's a chance they will do one more here. So buy setup, not there until they break the trend line. Sell setup possible. We look for that sell setup when they come here, right? If they break out, then we start. Look, let's say you don't have a sell setup here, right? But let's say they break through this. Well, they will have to pull back. Don't jump into it, and then you will get the trade to the upside. If you jump in, you'll end up losing your account, right? US CAD, we're in the sell. I like to sell the CAD, especially when it's at the top, right? We are already in sell. I'm in the sell. My stop is above the top, and I'm not worried about it. If I lose this trade even, then I look for an Excel setup, right? Once the top, the cat starts making top, making top, making top, the same thing here, making top. I think the top is there because we are breaking. And if they keep, I'm expecting this to come back here and then we'll see if they go again or if they'll break out. I don't think they'll break out so, so fast because this is making another wave that should look something very similar to this, right? So this one through three is possible is what we can get here now. One through three before they go back again and then they go down. This is going to be a long-term consolidation. So four hour, we broke. I'm looking for sell. If you're not in the sell, you can go to the one hour. Wait for them to break out here. Wait for them to break out, then you take the sell, right? If you want to take it, if you know how to trade and you, you're not afraid of the market and you can take risk, we can do an experiment, sell this here with one micro, right? Or on a demo, if one micro will not break your account, no stops. Remember we did that in the Pung Yen, right? 
We'll come to the Peng Yen test. Sell this with one micro, no stops, if you're not scared of the market. One micro should not break your account if it goes 500 pips up, right? This is not a trade call. This is an experiment to show you why you should not be afraid of the market when it's at a certain zone, right? And this is a zone where you should not be afraid of a sell. Now, I'm not going to give you all of our strategies and how we do it and what we do, but I can give you an idea. What to do. So it's a test. Take it in a demo. Let's put it. Take it in a demo. Don't, don't uh, put any stop loss. Wait. If you're taking this trade, like we take the trade line, my stop loss is above the top. Now, I don't have to live with that stop loss. So you don't try to take the trade and put a stop there. I may get out of this trade for break even and you could take a loss in it. As soon as I see what the structure is doing and it's changing, I may close the trade for a very small loss, a, very, a, a fraction of what my risk is, or even for break even, because I am, I'm still not, a, I, I got in way, in way higher than this. I'm still in profit. I got until somewhere in here, right? So I may be able to close that trade for break even or a fraction of my loss if, if the worst happens. I don't have to live with the stop loss, right? So don't take the trade as a setup now. You don't understand what I'm doing as yet. Yen, we are looking for sell setups. Some of us took the trade. We are waiting to see this. It's not looking very nice still. But here's what we are thinking. If this is going to go up, one, two, three, let them come back to this level, and we are going to move that trade to break even. And we'll see where it goes. They'll, if they go take us out, we are above the top. If they go take us out, we look for a buy setup. I'm not seeing a buy setup as yet. I'm expecting one more down or a correction in here of this move. If they start to correct, we'll get out for break even. As long as we see structure that says, hey, whatever you were expecting to do, it's not doing, we get out of the trade. And that is, that is, the, that is the whole concept of wave theory, which is what I'll explain a little later if you stick around to the end. Right? The concept of self, what we do. Right? It's not about the trend lines. You hear me say that many times. It's not about that line. That line, has, that line is insignificant to what we do. That line is just a simple line to show me the pattern that I, that possible could form, right? Right now, if they change the structure, the line has little value, right? It's not looking aggressive to the downside, but that is at this present moment doesn't mean anything as yet. Swiss, stay out of this. You're not going to get any good trade. I think it may go up somewhere, but this is a nice one you don't want to miss. You remember I've been showing you guys these trades, big trades to come. Right? Remember when I said this is going to break out? Everybody will start freaking out. Oh, it's breaking out and it's going. You're getting a trade set up here. Now, this trade here is going to be short term. Don't ask me why. I'm going to tell you this is likely going to be short. They will come back deep and then they will go again. All right? So if you take this trade, you may want to move your follow it, move your stops and take profit on a one hour or in a 15 minutes. I think the one hour don't go too close, but it's making a nice corrective structure right now. Let them prove that this is the structure they're going to make and break out and then you want the trade. This is a good buy setup, right? The trade is not active, it's a buy setup. If you know to get it, at least when they come to this trend line, then you will start looking, you know, worried what is gonna happen. But I don't think they will go there right now because this one is a tree wave and this is gonna be a tree wave. So I don't think they're gonna go there, but you may get a very nice move. At least you can get about, let me see. Yeah, you can get about 200 pips out of that trade for four to 50 pip risk. So good three, four to one. You're in New Zealand. We're looking for more upside, but we may get some deeper correction here. Let's see who's going to do that. We do have divergence at the top there. See that? So I think this one should come back deeper to this level. It's, it, it will not come in a straight line. Let me just get that clear to you. Remember I said Euro New Zealand is going to go to? Big move to the upside. Watch it in the weekly. See how strong it's going. Watch for this. This is your target eventually. But you're not take a trade and keep it to that target. You'll take about 50 trades or 60 trades before it gets to that target. So let's go back to the four hour. And the eventual target will be this 270 here. We'll get to that level. They're going very slow. Looks like very slow. So we're getting a pullback here. If they make a flag, the line is not important. If they make a flag, we look for a sell back to the trend line and then up, right? If they don't make a flag and they just keep going, anywhere at this point, we'll be buying. Right? We'll be buying for a reason because this will not keep going down. They're going to go up. If they spike it down, they'll spike it up pretty fast. I think if they make a flag like this one, remember we had some short-term sells there. 
short-term sales, short-term sales will the same thing. If we see short-term sales set up here, we'll take this trade down and then we'll look for the upside. So there are buy setups in it. This is just a correction of the trend and it's in an uptrend. Euro yen, remember everybody is going crazy when this is going down? What is he talking about? We broke the trend line, that is a downtrend. Why are you looking for a buy? Yeah, because the structure set is gonna go up. Ignore the darn trend line, it has no value. That's not a trend line that you should be looking at. We had the trend line, but we knew we know what we were looking for in the trend line. That has no value. What you're looking at is the structure. What is the structure telling you? The structure tells me it's gonna go up and it's going up nicely. I came out of the trade a little too early. I took profit, a lot of profit, but came out one little too early because I think I, I thought that this level will have a deeper correction, right? Saw the divergence, thought a deeper correction and I'll get in back. Well, I never got in back for this, but don't worry. They're making corrections now. And as long as they make this correction, I'll be looking for a buy setup. Can we get a short term sell setup? Maybe if they consolidate here, we'll take a sell. This sell is gonna be a short-term trade and then we'll be looking for upside, right? If everybody stop the chat, it's gonna start faster than you expect. Let's finish the weekly outlook first. Swiss, Euro Swiss, upside, you can actually, it's a very good trade setup. It's just that I don't like to trade this. I think they're coming back to this level. I don't trade this, so I would not advise you to. <laughs> There's a reason for that. We got one through, I think they will get back to this. Like I just hate to trade this thing because this is gonna go like this. I can show you some things that will happen. They go like this, spike it down back all the way here and then continue to go there. You get stopped out. Somewhere along the way you get stopped out. That doesn't change. You see all these deep spikes back here. We were selling this coming down. We were trying to sell this coming down. I think this was a break even trade. This whole piece we went and then we got a break even trade. Uh, this one went the back and took us out, uh, this, this spike here, took us out right from this cell. See that cell there? This spike took us out also break even. And these were a lot of pips, right? I was expecting this to come break the low. And then we, we stopped trading it, right? At that point, I just decided it's not worth it. I think some of my traders even took a loss on this one because they were pretty sure it's not gonna come. They had their stop there. We sold this breakout. And they were pretty much in here and they were like, it's probably gonna do this and go back there. But you know, they just kept the trade and ended up taking a small loss, which, which is just leave this alone. It's messy. EuroCAD, we're waiting for a pullback and then more upside, expecting a pullback here and more upside. So I'll go into four hour and the one hour for you to see that. Four hour, they're pulling back. So the same thing with all the Euro trades. If you get a correction here, you can take short-term sales. These are pullbacks. You can take that trade, take your profit and start to look for upside. As of now, we will treat all these trades as corrections, which means we will get in the trades, we will get a short-term and we'll take profit and we'll look to exit the trades, right? Let's go. Europong, also short-term possible. They can tag this low again here, but the long-term, I think they're going up. Remember, I have a long-term forecast on this one to the upside. This move here. I don't know where that arrow gone. This arrow here, remember I had that arrow there. Well, it's still there. I, I still expect this to go up, just that they may come down here first. They may just make a little correction there first in this, this time frame, come down a little to this level, give you a flat, a wonderful flat, and then up. That'd be a good trade, right? Pong Oz, you guys don't want to miss this one. If this things break here, you don't want to miss this trade. Just like you didn't want to miss the trade to the upside, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of you missed it. You didn't want to miss that trade to the upside. Now you don't want to miss this trade to the downside, right? Don't want to miss this trade to the downside, guys. And it's, there's a nice one hour setup at the top there. You can't ask for a better setup like this. If this breaks, sell. Win or lose, sell. Right? If you don't sell this, you got to stop trade. Stop trade, go back to learning, and then come back. Now, I, I'm pretty sure a lot, you will start seeing a lot of this now on TradingView as soon as I say it here, right? 
You'll see a lot of people posting, selling this on TradingView very soon. Don't worry. And it might look like my chart even. They, sometimes I get scared when I look at some charts. When did I post that? I'm like, oh, not my chart. That is incorrect. <laughs> that is not a good one. <laughs> Amazing, right? Let's go. Watch this. Short term, they're coming down. There is a good chance this could go one more up, but I don't think they will do that because we break. And those of you who are already in the trade, if you took the trade, watch it. It may be coming down very slow. Eventually, you're going to watch it come to the trend line. Now, if they break this line, then we would look, the buy would be very short term. If you're going to go into a buy, it will be very, very short term. Mostly you're looking for the trade to come down, right? Because they've all made the daily up move we were expecting them to make. So I'm looking for a correction here now. Correction at least back to this level. And we'll see. If this goes up more, you see it's short term because this whole move here has to correct itself eventually. So one hour. Wait, it's not going aggressive. It could take off. Pang Yen, remember this one was not going aggressive too? Remember this here was not breaking and then eventually it takes off. We will, we're going to tag this top. Very likely they're going to probably tag that top slowly. And when they do, we will start to look for the downside. Let's go to the four hour. They're breaking up. I think we can take that off. They broke. I was looking for a channel, but they're breaking the channel. So if they make a flag here and you may be getting a flag, you may get a short-term trade up. This is not a very big trade, but if you take it, you want to take profit. So if you're going to take that trade to the upside, you want to take profit when they get to the top, right? How far? They're not moving very aggressive. So you may want to take profit early because they're pulling back pretty sharp, which means that at some point, this will start to come down. And the point from where I think they will start to come down, not necessarily exactly that point, but above that point. Anywhere above that point, I'll start to look for cell setups. Right? So watch this go. Punk ad. Punk ad also, we're looking for cell setups. One more up. I think this will make one more up here. It's going to probably go up to the top here. And then the sell setup will come in. So if you're looking for a buy setup and you get a buy setup in the one hour, right now there isn't any. But if you get a buy setup in the one hour, take it to the top like this. Take it very carefully. And then we start to look for the sell setup because we are at the top already. right? You're at the top. And very likely that top eventually comes back down. right? At some point they start. some point they will start to come back to this level. So let's see. Put it back in a one hour. All the punk trades are showing that sell setup. If this starts to break out here, if they don't go back to the top, which means they start to break out here, you should get into the sell at this level somewhere here, right? Look for a setup that you trade and take the trade. Punk chief, nothing much here. Same, same setup, but just ignore this one. Aussie yen, start looking for a buy setup. Watch this piece here. And if they break out, buy it to the top back. There's a good short buy set up to the top. That could go only because of Aussie. I don't expect yen to go back that much, but if they get the yen go good for us, right? This could be a nice trade set up here, this piece. See, it's lagging. Okay, everybody else seems to be okay. Okay, so we're still getting some lag somewhere. So it's pretty much good for most people. Okay, so we'll just go ahead. Maybe I'm going too fast, but I'm going too fast because I want to save time for, for, the, for the class itself, right? You guys could always look back at the recording, right? So this is a good, good setup here. You can look at the recording, pause it, and take your time and decide which trade setup you want, right? So watch this trade to the upside. We don't have a sell setup here as yet. New Zealand, yeah, pretty much same thing. It's going already. Keep an eye on it. You may get, remember, we're looking for big moves on these to the upside. You're getting a short-term 60-minute trade here. It's a short-term trade because this will start to pull back. So you can take some profit. If you're lucky, they go very far. If you're lucky, they may make a sharp move up. I don't think you'll get that lucky, so be careful. Cadian. Cadian broke out, pulled back right in here, so stay out of the Cadian. There, it, it's making a setup, not ready as yet. Swiss Yen, stay out of that. 
New Zealand CAD, you don't definitely don't want to interfere with this as yet. It's consolidating, give it more time. Aussie CAD, I think you don't want to, Aussie CAD, I'm in the cell already in the Aussie CAD. I don't know how many of you are in the cell, so let me show you the trade setup. We spoke about this the last time, right? I said they will tend to come and test this top and then come back here and maybe go test that top and then come back. So anybody sold here. Some of my traders that I did, I sold it just a little lower because I saw it slightly lower. Anybody still take took that trade? Nobody? Come on, serious. Nobody took that trade? I actually drew the lines. This is exactly how the chart looked from the last time. Actually, these settings were put there from the last time, so you, you can see it, right? So I'm still in that trade, by the way. Going excellent. I'm not taking it off, and there's a reason why. Remember, we said this thing is going to likely come back all the way. First, I'll watch it to come test this low. Let them go. They will come test this low, and that will give me a one, two, three. If they're going to go back up, I'll see this structure coming down and make that decision. If not, they're going to come back to this trend line. And there I'll make a decision, which is a pretty long trade, you know, compared to what you did. And these are the trades I like to take. Basically, I saw uh, some people looking at this, hey, we're in an uptrend. Start buying. And I was like, no, you're not in an uptrend. This is not an uptrend. I don't care how many pin bars you have in the middle here. I don't care how many pin bars you saw here. We're not in an uptrend. And this is what I don't get at trading view. People do this, a hundred of this, and they get 30 wrong in the first, 20, uh, the first 35, and they come back and they do the same crap. What you should do when that happens is go and learn to, to trade. Change your strategy, learn something, come back. We all make mistakes, but it's time to learn from your mistakes. That's what we should do. When I say things, people say you're criticizing traders. No, I'm criticizing pin bars as a strategy. I'm telling everybody pin bars as a strategy is not good. It's not about who is using it. I care less about any individual trader who is using it. I'm saying to you guys, and I'll keep saying it to everybody, don't use pin bar as a strategy to determine anything. It's just the design of the chart. If you do that, you will lose all your, you know, you will lose your account. Those people lost their account, basically. And they come back and they still do the same thing. Well, Shoot me. I don't know why. I have no idea. Hey, I tried that thing before. I stopped using it. I tried supporting resistance. I didn't use it. I tried a whole lot. I tried almost everything you can imagine. We all go through that process of trying every single thing. And then we realize that most of them simply don't work. That's it. When they don't work, you don't get married to them. The only reason people get married to those strategies is because they're selling it to other people in the form of... Um, you know, they're selling it in the form of all kind of nonsense, right? They're selling it in the form of, of, of signals and whatever, whatever. I, that is why. So let's go. Aussie, New Zealand. This one got us there because we, we were in that trade. Some of my trades were in the buy and didn't go well. They come back, they got break even. Actually, they bought it much lower. They bought it from here. And they end up, you know, they end up giving up a lot in that trade because it came back deep. And I remember one of the trades like this we had before. They went up, they came back, make a deeper pullback to the blow, and then we will still look for that upside. It's not changing direction. It's just making a bigger correction. So all they did was give up some of the profit they had. So we'll wait for that. We'll wait for a buy setup. Don't try to sell it now. It's too late. Non-candlestick pattern you should not follow. <laughs> Keep following candlestick pattern, you'll, you'll learn something. Yep, let's go. Silver. Let's look at silver. Silver, I'll take a little, a couple of minutes here from you guys. So silver, we're looking at a number of things here. Let me remove everything from silver so I can give you, I'll probably talk more about silver also. In the thing. If you remember earlier, we're thinking that silver was going to start the up move from here. And then we, we look at the chart and we said, there is a good chance they may even want to retest the low. Right? Now, we're looking at this whole piece in the daily. And the, the way these moves are moving pretty sharp like this, I'm thinking they're going to go back up. That this is an impulse, this is some kind of an expanding flat, and they're going to go back up. Now we need the confirmation of that. But since this is silver and the price is at 16, I'm buying. 
It's that simple. I'm, I'm the, 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 the hedge fund guy I'm already advising is already buying 300K, $300,000 worth of cash silver, no leverage, right? That's at 16. We have one at 15, 50, somewhere 15, 10. Another 300,000 cash, no leverage. And we have one, a tree, 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 three, 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 three hundred and one hundred. And so it's one million dollar worth of silver cash money they will be buying, not my money. I'm just advising them what to do. Buy silver and hold it, no leverage. So they don't have to worry about it, the broker. If you have that kind of a money, call me. I'll work a strategy for you to make a, a lot of money on silver. If you don't use leverage. Yep, it's, just, it's investment. It's not trading, it's investment. You're changing your dollar into silver. And that is good investment. If one silver hit below around 16 and below, that's good investment because silver will never go to zero. Take profit. We are looking to take profit somewhere around this area here, 21, 22, when they break that up. And if it goes, depends on how it goes. That's the minimum we are thinking of take profit. But it depends on how that goes, we may even keep it further. And we may even buy some more if the guy is willing to invest more money into that. It's a hedge fund guy, so this is not a lot of money for him, right? He has a lot of money. Don't worry about it. Uh, gold, I think we will get, if they're going to go down and they broke the trend line, so I think we will get some more downside in gold. You may want to wait for a correction here before they go one more down. So don't jump into the sell now. Wait for correction. I, I don't have that kind of money. If you guys give me some, that would be okay. U.S. oil, we're also waiting for them to correct. Right now, the U.S. oil is in a big, 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 big sideways move, right? So it's a good question to ask, what is this doing right here now? Well, this is an incomplete pattern. So but we can make a guess, an educated guess as to where it's going to go. He's simply using the lower level pattern, the lower degree pattern, which is, I'll, I'll talk a little about that. And that means we're thinking some more upside and we'll track this, how this develops. So right now what you're looking for is a little more upside, not a sell setup, but a buy setup. It's, it's forming a buy setup, making a flag, so you may get a buy. Same with the UK oil. If you get a, a flag here, you may get one buy more up and then you just watch it on, on the lower degree, how it develops That's like this. Remember this buy setup here when this sort of form? You got that buy and then you just follow it. You just track it. Remember I said, if you take a buy, you take a buy, it was a short term because we're going to come back down. If you watch my, my webinar, you'd see. Every time I said, if you buy here, take profit because this is coming back down, right? And same thing we'll be look at. Right. So natural gas, natural gas coming down very sharp. We were looking for a breakout. We, we were thinking about this breakout. We didn't, nobody got that. Then we were thinking they're going to break here. So now they're actually doing a deeper pullback. This still looks very much like a correction to me. So we don't have a sell setup. If they come out here, we'll look for a buy setup. If you're looking for a sell, they have to come down all the way here and make a flag. Then we'll get, we don't have a sell setup in that. Most likely we're looking for a buy setup. New Zealand Swiss stay out of this. CAD Swiss, you can start to look for your buy setup. See that? They're breaking, not much of a flag. So I think you better wait in this trade. Remember there was a flag earlier. I was looking, if they broke that flag, you would buy. That is this flag here. They didn't break it. They never broke this. If they broke that, you would buy. That never happened. It started to come down. Well, now it's actually in the daily. This could be a very long-term trade up, guys. So you may want to pay attention to this. Wait for this to make a four-hour co correction and buy it back to the top, right? Wait for that four-hour correction because if you don't, what is likely going to happen is they could drop it back right back here and then go. Tag that low and then go. If you're already in the buy, start moving. If you're in the buy in the lower time frame, move that to break even. It right? depends on where you buy. If you can move to break even, move it because it's a little dangerous right now. Aussie Chief, do nothing here. Same thing, they're going up, but do nothing. Not No trade set up on that as yet. S&P 500, they broke out. We were expecting this to actually go down some more. They didn't. They started to go up. If you take, you don't have anything there. Wait for them to consolidate. And if you take this buy, you got to be very, very careful. Every buy now becomes high risk, take profit. 
you buy, you get whatever pips that stop moving, take profit. Because at any point, this thing could start going down very seriously. They broke the top, we have divergence. That means at this point, they could crawl up, curl up, curl up, hit that 270, this 270 here, or that 618, and start to fall very hard. So you want to look for it. it it's not a sell setup as yet, but it's, it's kind of forming for a sell setup. Short term, they can climb more. I don't see why this can't climb and this can't go. You know, they can do this and then watch that fall happen. So short term, any buy you take has to be very short term. If you're looking for a sell setup in the longer term, keep your, keep your eye on this very close. Nifty, same thing. Short term buys, long term, this has broken the weekly top. It could go down anytime, but there's still short term buying it in the weekly. On the one hour, sorry, we broke that top. So at any point, this is going to go back down, but they can climb some more. I still think they can go some more. See? If, if I have my weekly chart when it was here, I think it was somewhere in here. I don't know, was it was a monthly or something like that chart I posted on. I think it was something here, right? Somewhere in there. Yeah, that this is going to go up, right? Keep an eye on that. It's going to go up. Yeah, I think they're, go, they're going up. So they may still go some more. Right? Just keep your eyes on that. There's still some more to go. Possible they can pull back to this level. Let's see if you're getting that pullback set up. Yeah, we may get a pullback. You could get another pullback, go up, go up, and then bring another pullback before they go. So keep your eyes. You may get a nice move because we're getting internal dive. We're getting divergence here. This could probably drop it. Copper. Stay out of this. It's going down now, but it's going down in a sideways move, and that's, that's not a sell setup at the bottom there, right? They have to break this structure first before you sell. Break this structure, pull back into it, make consolidation, then you sell. DAX, you start looking for your sell setup. They broke out of the structure, which is not a channel anymore. Right? They made one more up, broke the top. You got a lot of divergence in it. So watch this here for a sharp move down, a sideways, and then you start selling back to the trend line. I think on the one hour, they're starting that sharp move down already. So if you get a one hour flag here, you can start taking a risk for a trade back to this level, right? And that makes sense. Wait for the flag. Wait for the one hour flag before you get into it. I don't, some of my traders do, Ahmed. That's Ahmed asking a question. I think everyone sees your question, so I don't have to repeat it. I don't look at a lot of those stocks, but uh, you know, we look at some, some things and some people send me, like one of my traders looking at soybeans this morning, right? Short term upside. Long term, you're going to get a nice trade here, right? See that? That was a nice sell too, right? See that? So if you want to buy it up, not a great idea, but you can think. So I don't look at most of these things, but my traders do. So I will stop this uh, webinar here. Stop recording.